It's officially here. It's the playoffs. We're taking on the 8-9 and nine Miami Dolphins who have had a new user since we last played them. However, the last user that we had a pretty good game against is a solid one. So, obviously, we uh, feel pretty good about it despite the fact that this roster for Miami is no joke. They obviously have tough corners to beat. Very tough wide receivers. Maybe the two toughest wide receivers to stop. A solid big tight end, and Tua is insanely accurate, but the throw power could become a problem. We're going to try to get pressure, try to force bad throws, and try to win this game. Don't need to look at the stats or awards or anything like that because we did that last episode. Maybe take a look at it if you haven't already. This is what the team looks like. We got some morale boost, which is nice. What the hell has Najee got, though? Uh, just a bunch of crap, so no one even cares. Don't know if that's our morale or if that's his morale, but... This is what the team looks like. Obviously, a bunch of really good wide receivers that have, uh, you know, pretty much everyone's at 1,000 yards this season. Uh, the only one is, in pit is Pickens, and he's one of the best receivers we got. So that, you know, kind of gives you that idea. D-line, it really, especially interior, has not played well. So if we have a big running battle in this one, that could be the end of us. So <laughs> we're trying to hopefully uh, score a lot. So you can't really run the ball because you're trying to catch up. But speaking of that Dolphins team, this is what the team looks like. 87 throw power, which is actually up from his base ratings. Like mid-90s for the throwing accuracies, which is just brutal. Fastest running back in the league, I believe, in Raheem Mostert. Fastest wide receiver or receiver duo by far in the league. And then tight end Mike Kosicki's, you know, kind of like a... I wouldn't say poor man's Fryermuth, but kind of similar to Fryermuth, just not as good at route running. Left tackle is basically impenetrable. Left guard is solid. Center is solid. Right guard is really bad. Kind of move, you know, Hayward to left end, perhaps. We'll see how that goes if we decide to. And then right tackle is really bad, so we're really hoping TJ Watt has a day. Jalen Phillips is decent. Bradley Chubb is okay. DT Wilkins is very good at stopping the run. Tyndall super fast. Baker super fast. And Van Ginkel is actually not that bad in speed, and he's kind of like a hybrid. Cornerbacks, not the fastest, but very talented, obviously. Free safety is very, very good. And then strong safety, not terrible with 90 speed. Here it is, Hard Rock Stadium. We talked about it being a nighttime primetime game, which is awesome. Gotta love it, especially with the lights. And the final was 7-3. to three. What the hell? Their game finished 7-3? to three? That's a playoff game, folks. It's not a sim game. Okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, we don't know who, uh, you know, is moving on in the playoffs, and that's a good thing because you don't really want to think about the future. You want to think about now. You want to win this game. I will say, I don't know our stats or our win-loss in games where we receive first, but i got to imagine it's worse than when we don't receive first. So just throwing that out there. Got our excuses already ready. Love it. Nice third of the outside. Deontay Johnson going to gain about 16 to start this one out. My favorite thing of the playoffs, though, is not worrying about backup carries, how many times you're throwing the ball, this, that, and the other thing. Uh, I'm going to actually go with Slant because I don't think they're going to have – I don't think Friar going to be covered here. He's, I mean, he's covered, but he's not that covered. Would have loved to see a stiff arm there. It gains about five. Like, it's just not – it's fun not having to worry about, oh, did I run enough with the backups, this, this. You know, I don't really care. I just get to play the game now. Let's go with the inside carry. This is pretty predictable, though, I will admit. And good tackle by him. I tried to go with the stiff arm, but just didn't give me any animation. It would be really nice to get past midfield here. As any go for after midfield is not counted against. And there goes Najee, who will gain a bunch of yards, maybe seven on the first down. Or I should say four of the first down. Line holding up pretty well. Jordan Love hitting throws. It's uh, not a bad time. Not a bad time so far. And that is a tough one for Mr. Calvin Austin, who's slipping off tackles left and right. Jordan Love on those throws inside has been a little iffy at times. That might be another example of one, as his safety looked like he had a chance at it. That was scary. But good work. We completed it. <laughs> Barely. And that's a really good throw to Calvin Austin, who's going to get about nine with the hit stick, which... You know, I'm a big believer that uh, hit sticks pile up, and the more hit sticks you accumulate, the more uh, chance you have at a fumble. Play action on this run could be a deadly one. And this is going to be a throwaway. A couple of bumps and, you know, pretty good pressing. I don't even know if he actually did press, but it seemed like he did. This is going to be a double drag. It seems pretty obvious to run from here, but I'm not going to run it. That's a force. Oh my god, I deserve to be picked there. 
I saw his user remove. I, I don't know why I decided to just force it in there when the double drag was going to be open. Derek Watt never gets the ball in this situation. It's time to give it to him. And instantly gets us. I get he pinched it, but I also pinched it. And that is a uh, really bad offense from us. Three straight bad plays. Not that I could have done much on that one specifically, but should have never hiked that. That was really bad. But the plays before that, I really wanted back. The quick throw to Najee, that was stupid, dude. All right, Devin Bush, you want to do better? Good job by Edmonds, who's, I think it's supposed to be covering that. He's covering uh, Waddle and Man, which obviously I usered. That should have been a tackle, though, which is really harsh, but it is what it is. Damn, that was a really bad play by me. Cuts it back inside into danger. Won't actually get it. Oh, they're going to give it to him. I don't hate that, though, because third and one is... I mean, unless you're me, who is an idiot, apparently. Uh, guaranteed. Mr. Bush. I'm going to try to bait it out on the inside. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Huge hit over the middle. There's not much you can do about it. Even with Tua's bad throw power, he still just fits that right in there easily. Uh, do I have time? Nope. There's nobody on Tyreek. I mean, we brought a blitz, and once again, our O-line, or our D-line just sucks. I get that time we had TJ Watt in coverage, which is really stupid, but, like, it's just terrible. Like, we bring a blitz, and it's just like nothing happens. That's a good counter. Why don't let me switch? Minka with a really bad angle. If I didn't switch to him in time, that would have been a touchdown. Minka, once again, just... Terrible angles, as always. Really good counter play there. I really did not expect that. And kind of pulled the player out of position a little bit there. Go William Jackson, user. Could be that play action. No. And I slowed down, but it's very tough to use your open space like that. There's a reason why most plays open space are like several broken tackles from pretty much any level of skill in the league. Bush on the inside, maybe going to blow this one up. And he's throwing that into the moon. Really lucky that that wasn't somehow intercepted. I'm really surprised that it wasn't, to be honest. I don't know what the hell, like, how that ball even got up there. I don't know if that was a throwaway and how he avoided a grounding on it, but it is what it is. Third and six. It's kind of a stop. And there goes the pressure, which could knock him out of field goal range. Pierre with the sack. Don't know who his kicker is. It's not the longest kick in the world. Let's see if we can get a block. We will not, and the kick is up and should be good. It is not. It's short. All right, so the defense does its job. Quick throw to the outside. I don't know if we're going to get that off. Here goes Fryermuth. Getting about nine with a huge hit stick. I still just can't believe like how dumb I was on that last sequence. Good defense, though, to force that. That's a tough throw. Jordan Love, great throw, and Fryermuth slips away. Good job by him to switch off to the 16. Trey Flowers injured. What a dot. Jordan Love cross body with the dot and a half. You know I love this play. Might be a bad spot on the field to run it, though. Or the perfect time. Fryermuth gets it. What a play. It was not a voice crack. I was just... It was a voice crack. Damn it. it really wasn't a voice crack. It was just like a... Ah! Kind of like a shocker. I was just shocked that he laid out for it. Bruised quad. Well, I don't know if I've ever seen that. Bruised quad. Okay. Great throw. Great catch. Fryermuth drive. We love to see it. We love to see it. Who's on the inside? Troy Pride. Man, <laughs> we really should not cover well at all today. But these corners have... Uh... <laughs> and Minka is just not even close, dude. I don't blame him on that one a little bit. The post was kind of running into his zone there a little bit, and he kind of got caught. But I think the thing about that is he was going to cover no one. I hate him. I hate Minka Fitzpatrick, dude. I just don't like him. If you're watching this, Minka, you're a great player in real life. In-game, God, you should sue EA. You are terrible in-game. You are the worst player in the league. Like, it's insane. TJ, good job by us. Kind of strung him out, made him, you know, cut back inside. You know, TJ Watt started that by making him go all the way out, and then I was going to cut him off, so he cut it back inside just to get back to the line, which you don't blame. It's a pretty good play. Needs some pressure, though. Even if it's just base. And there it is, like I just said. Even if it's just base. We love that. 
We need to see more of this. What was the time to sack on that? Like, negative seconds? I'm going to contain, I guess. I don't know why I would, but I'm going to. It's good coverage by us. And no way, dude. Huge hit. Yeah, it's a three-man rush. It's what you get for not blitzing, but ah, what can you do, dude? Miles Jack was in really good coverage there. I can't even blame him. I'm going to use her Troy Pride here. That's a really good tackle inside. <laughs> what? The hell is that? It's not like it was Gronkowski. I'm run coming in here. I think I'm going to make the executive decision that this is a run. I may have just tipped my hand, though. Oh, Mathis! You're him! That could be the play of the game. Tyreek probably will catch him. He does to the 21. What a play. Holy him. The jumping god finally making a play. Oh, my word. He's him. And there goes Pickens. Drops it, of course. Yep. Got to go aggressive at all times, kids. No matter what your catching is, because this game is flawless. Flawless games allow you to. I don't know what I'm even going to say. Who cares? Let's get throw to Fryer, who is going to gain about seven. God, I would have loved a touchdown on that drive, that run back, but that's, hey, what a play by Damari Mathis. I mean, that was looking like a touchdown. Can't even blame him throwing across there and. Damari just made a play because he was a little late on the blitz. Imagine not doing your job properly, getting you a pick. Almost six. And there goes Mr. Calvin Austin out of the one. The tough job by him. He had to cover two players there. He made the right decision, I think, by drawing down as that throw to Calvin was tough. You know, he got hit as it was coming as well. So, Mr. Najee Harris is going to be a run commit. Najee Harris forced back inside, gets it back to the one. I'm really debating on just running three more times. Like, surely we get enough blocks one of these times. And there goes Najee, like I said. One of these times. What a change of events. A turn of events. Close call field goal just barely misses, so that's three. Throw back to the left, wide open because we run commit, but Damari is late on it. Gets a pick near six. That's ten. Instead, it's 14-0. to zero. I mean, you can't ask for much better... Would you call it luck? Situational awareness? I don't know. Don't know if it's really situational awareness, though. I don't even know who I'm covering. Yeah, I was about to say, I, I was hesitant on cutback because I figured he wasn't going to get there in time. And, well, I wasn't wrong. Who am I even covering? I'm supposed to blitz. Safety. That's all right. That's all right. Troy Pride fighting for his life. I'm going to go with Troy Pride on the inside, bringing a little bit of a blitz. Good try, Mathis. I did a really good job jumping on Waddle there. If he threw to Waddle, that could have maybe been a pick. I really don't trust. Two safeties, no help. Like, it's the safeties are the help. That could be picked! He dropped it. No. What are you doing, William? You're the leading, well, Minka is, but you're the leading cornerback interceptor guy. That counts for something these days. Good Miles Jack. He might need help anyways. That's my fault. Good dump off in fairness. Really good dump off. I'm surprised that Mostert was up for it. And there goes TJ. DJ, uh, DJ, uh, Devin Bush tried to force him in for the first down. It didn't happen. Unbelievable. This is so tough. I knew it was going to happen. Good try, though. Great tackle by Edmonds. It just, I figured I needed to be kind of back just in case he took the shot, but I probably should have just went with my gut and just figured it's the tight end. It's open space. The tight end is really hard to cover because they can just catch everything. It is what it is, though. Good defense. Good try. Ooh, a throw away. Let's get Damari out there. Let's get Devin Bush going. Oh, pick! Devin Bush! I jumped on it as quick as I could. TJ Watt is a menace. I'm almost certain that's who it got there. It could have been a corner in fairness, but TJ Watt is making things tough. You gotta love him. 
the hell is going on here? It's a late throw, but, you know, if he gets a few. It's a really good job by Najee there. Really good job by his guys, in fairness. Really good coverage. Like, I had nowhere to go. I should try to run the ball a little bit more, though, because, I mean, we're just not really wasting the clock. And more importantly, like, our run game sucks. So when an obvious run comes up, he's going to know about it, like, every time. Like this one. That yeah, worked out. Najee running through a guy gets uh, to the 41. Clock's not really a concern for me. The clock is starting to move. It is a massive concern for me. And that's a really good rush, despite the fact that we had f six blockers. Don't know if Najee just missed his assignment, but clock's running. It's it's definitely becoming a problem. Fryermuth decides to jump up for a ball. He can literally just get his hands up on. What is he doing? Like, honestly. Pat's Y out he's got. This could be a jump ball situation, so I'm going to just streak Pickens. Let's see if Pickens got it in him. We take that. Oh, good try by Pickens. Good try. That was pretty damn good coverage for man coverage. Not even just on Pickens, but the other routes. We had a wheel. We had a like a mid post. Would have really loved to do better on that last drive, though. But he did a good job. I maybe should have just kept running it, but the clock was kind of, you know, I said it wasn't a problem. We're walking away with three timeouts here, but clock was becoming a problem. And he's just going to throw this short, which is interesting, but... That will be a 14-0 halftime score. Defense is bending, but it is definitely not breaking. We've forced the turnover a few times now. I always live and die by the uh, the pass. But do I not? Run block ratings boost on inside run. I'm going to change it to run, which is crazy for me, but we'll hopefully work out with that. Our run game usually sucks. Our pass game is usually good. So I figured if we want to get the run game going, which we need to, you know, help with sucking. You know, that's, what, that's all I can say. I would say so far we're playing a pretty conservative game, but there's a lot of times where it's just, you know, one-on-one -on -one outside. You know, it's not manned up with the safety help. It's literally just corner or safety one-on-one -on -one across, which dangerous for this team. All it takes is one broken coverage with that speed, and, you know, this game is a one-possessioner. Just looks like a good start for that to happen. Oh, let Gasicki go. That's not the person he should have went to. Gasicki was naked. <laughs> uh, when I said I'll let Gasicki go, I didn't mean that the rest of the team can let him go, but they got a different memo. Oh, good tackle by Miles. That throw to the running back has been his savior in this one so far. Got Troy Pride one-on-one. -on -one. Safety with Minka. About as good as I could do, to be honest. Not really going to fight it. There's no point. I did get over late. I was still kind of adjusting things. Just slightly kind of looking over things. And I got caught a half a second late on my uh, on my reaction. Oh, I switched me to the wrong guy hard there. Another wiggle route. I was on that, though. Could be a run. Oh, we got freaking Edmonds blitzing from super far out. Thank you. That's what I wanted Oh, it's terrible by me. Oh, but that's bull crap. Nice tackle. It's terrible by me, but that other one was BS. I mean, I am coming with the blitz every once in a while here. It's just we're not getting in in time. It's just really brutal. Edmonds kind of has to play the hook more than anything. And that is great coverage by Highsmith. Is TJ not doing anything? Good job. Oh, my God. He got sent. Third and 11, I decided to blitz there, which obviously worked. I'm going to blitz again as the last third down and even longer than this. We came with three, and it just it didn't work because we had no pressure at all, and he had all the time in the world. Right inside. And that's picked off by me. I don't know why he's forcing that to Tyreek there. And we get away. We get away. My users have been huge in this one. Another touchdown. This time on defense. Don't get me wrong, it was overthrown by Tua, but that was not a good read. I mean, Tyreek maybe gains 4-5 or five without us there anyways. Not a good throw, obviously, by Tua. It hurts him a ton, but once again, kind of forced that read. Gasicki has been the guy. 
Tight ends are really hard to cover in this game. Obviously, it's been like that for a couple of Maddens now, but he's been that guy this game. Nobody wants to cover him. I know I didn't last freaking play. Made the right call on the underneath as it just seemed like it was kind of the one that was right in his face, and the defense is absolutely MVP so far. And there it goes. Didn't even blitz him. I mean, I blitzed him manually, but you know what I mean. Like, we didn't really do anything to, like, get that extra pressure. TJ Watt is cooking against that tackle, like, really nicely. And that almost picked again. I don't know why he likes that throw back to the right, but it is costing him. Like, it, he keeps throwing that back there, and it's just, it's not the move. It just isn't. I'm trying to get a press on Gasicki. Nice press, actually. And we're all over that. I'm going to get another one. TJ Watt. The pressure from TJ has been immense. But you got to give me credit as well. Just a little. TJ's throwing him into me, and I'm hitting him in. I'm, he's throwing up the oop, and I'm freaking slam dunking him. And that's a really bad cut by me. Holy crap. You want to, like, telepath where you're going to go next time, buddy? He goes Najee, no one's on him. One to beat, Najee fighting to the five. I don't know if that was mid. It was not, it was some other blitz. But obviously his user was nowhere to be found on Najee. Makes sense to try, like, so tempting. But Pickens has not really been the most trustworthy guy for me this season. This is the most obvious run ever, so got to get ready for the hit stick. Although, Najee finds a way to get three. Pickens got inside shade leverage or outs. Well, the corner has the leverage on him. And there goes Puka with the speed. That is the dagger. And just based on the way I'm like watching this play out, I don't think he's a bad user by any means. I just think that TJ is really causing problems and our users causing him to uh, hesitate just a little bit, which is, I mean, huge when it comes to making reads. And that would have been another pick as I just read the way that play was going. I know that play well. It's a play I run decently often. I never have success on, but it's pretty easy to tell what it is early on. The tight end is absolutely the number one read on that play. Ah, I ran right away. Nice job by T uh, Miles. Not everything's TJ Watt, even though so far, yeah, don't really blame me for thinking it is because holy crap, the guy is having a game. He needs to be double teaming him. I'll put it that way. No one's on the running back. So this is a quick throw to the running back. That's a GG. Or picked by Minka. Wow, this has been a game. I don't know how Minka's there. Minka did something good. He, of course, decides to wait until the game's literally over to get greedy or get, get instinctive. But I don't know why he's there. We brought a blitz, unless he was supposed to blitz and, like, the throw came in before he got there. I don't know, but... Yeah, this has been uh, a bit of a, of a showing. But I will say, if we play like this next week on offense, I don't know, dude. I don't know. Dolphins don't have the greatest pass rush in the world, and you can see that that is a huge factor. I mean, in this game specifically, for us, could be a quick third of the outside, but I'm kind of covering inside leverage. Good tackle by us at Bolden. It's really been his only, like, safe read this game is... Is that quick throw to the running back. I mean, if you want to dink and dime us, you could easily do it every single game. Like, it's just so easy. You're D, but, you know, just took too long to develop. I made an executive decision, and bad one. As Tyreek Hill is definitely a harder guy to cover, and man, did have the inside press or inside shade, but it doesn't really matter, obviously, in that situation. And outside is so open. Decides not to take it. Could have called P.I. on us. I kind of got to grab on him early, but I don't know if that really mattered. Time to put the backups in because we have another playoff game to play. And Pittsburgh is moving on to the divisional round. As we win the game 35-14, to 14, not a bad performance there uh, for the defense specifically. Offense was all right. You know, we had our moments, but really didn't need to play that much on offense and because of that, the stats were, you know, going to look a little worse. A lot of short fields and a lot of long drives for him that just didn't result in points. So, you know, it's just, you know, the clock was kind of going there. And luckily the defense was able to hold up and stop the scoring from happening. A lot of yards for him, like I said, 370 defensively, uh, or Jordan Love-wise, 152 yards, one touchdown only. Uh, rushing didn't really do much at all. 
Uh, receiving, Tyreek Hill was his guy. Waddle was his guy. Obviously, Fire Move is our guy. Calvin Austin came away with a player two. Pickens, as expected, didn't get anything. Got targeted, but just didn't get the ball. TJ Watt was all over him all game long. Uh, interceptions wise, Bolden, Mathis, Fitzpatrick, Devin Bush, and Edmonds. We at least had two of those, maybe three of those. And then that missed field goal from him. Sadly, no upgrades. Also, no sign of me being able to re-sign Blackwell, who hasn't played yet that much in fairness. But Troy Pride's likely a free agent. So, yeah, I kind of need uh, maybe a slot corner. Don't want to pay Troy Pride. Rather pay the fast guy Blackwell. See what we have there maybe in the future. But GG to the opponent. Like I said, you know, a lot of uh, things that can be attributed in that game are, you know, a missed field goal by an inch. An interception on a run commit that, you know, Nine times out of ten, probably doesn't happen. It's a touchdown. That's ten points. The game is completely different. The mindset is completely different. Halftime score, 14-0. to zero, Feeling like you have to chase the game a bit. You know, you make one error. One error like you did with like an interception early, and it's a GG. You know, you're down 21-0. to zero. Now you have no choice but to try and get down the field in a kind of quick hurry. Uh, you know, it's, it's tough. It happens to the best of us trying to stay composed in these types of games when the defense seems like it's just smoking you as well with the pass rush like TJ Watt. Um, but yeah, double TJ Watt more unless he did and it just didn't work anyways. Uh, and you know, play your game, slow it down. And we probably lose that game to be honest, but we ended up winning. We at least have another playoff week in us. The divisional round going up against, I don't know. It seems like probably the chargers or the Browns, I, but you never know though. So no matter what, not no matter what, actually, like if, if the Ravens win and the chiefs win, like, is that us hosting a game against the Chiefs, I think? Right? I don't know. But obviously, it comes down to who wins what matchup. But as far as if I had to predict, I would say we're probably going to Cleveland. Anyways, that's going to be it. Thanks for watching this uh, this season so far. It's been a fun one. And, you know, our journey is not over yet. Maybe Jordan Love wins a year one Super Bowl as a starter with the Steelers. Who knows? But... That's going to be it. If you guys enjoyed, maybe leave a like, subscribe, and if you're not new, appreciate your continued support a ton on the channel. Maybe follow me on Twitter, Jerome Picare. Second channel, Picare plays for non Madden content. Been playing Hogwarts Legacy still. It's a very long game, and I'm trying to 100% it. So, you know, a lot of side missions and, you know, main missions do add up quite a bit. So, uh, we'll obviously play something else. Maybe God of War Ragnarok or something. I've never played Last of Us. Definitely would be interested in playing it. It would be fun, I think. So, you know, stay tuned on there. Maybe check out the channel. I think it's fun. I think that you know, a lot of non-Madden content is good for the soul. And I think a lot of that stuff is almost better than some of the Madden content, to be honest. So maybe check it out. But that's about it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys come back for next video, which for this series will be the divisional round. But until next video, see ya!